Penny, Penny, Penny. If you watch the Penny's previous video, which he spends about 24 hours on that manipulation, he did a lot of something epic works, and I can't have anything about that. I only can tell it for you that without doubt he is the god of Photoshop. And now in this video, I'm going to have a one video about his work that how he did that. Let's see what Benny did. Overall, it's still pretty similar at the end, but just more bulky and the obvious change of no helmet. This one took forever, but I am satisfied with the result. In this video, I'm going to write a reveal this trick that how you can add that lines to your face. If you want to know this trick that how you can do this, watch my video up to an end. Before that, if you are new to my channel, subscribe and press the bell icon to don't miss any video. Let's get started by 3, 2, 1. Let's uh, jump to the Photoshop workspace and start working that how we can do that. I have opened my photo to Photoshop workspace and I will work on it and start from adding blue lens to my height. Let's move the zoom in. Create a new hue and saturation adjustment layer. Check the colorize button and select the color that you want to have, but I think the blue is enough. Increase the situation and also lightness. Press Ctrl I to invert the mask as the same works previous. Grab your brush with the white foreground color and draw. You can increase it by lightness from the hue and saturation adjustment layer, but I have other methods for this. Create a new exposure adjustment layer, make it mask with the saturation layer and increase its brightness like this before after. Let's start adding that lines to my face. For make my work easier, I want to use from rulers. You can turn on the rulers from the view menu and rulers or also you can press Ctrl R on your keyboard to turn it on. After that, one line to middle of my eyes and one line in this place. But I had need some horizontal lines too. It doesn't have any different that you use from the solid color adjustment layer or you make a new layer and you brush with the black color. But I'm going to use from the solid color adjustment layer. Create a new solid color adjustment layer with the black color. Select that and make it invert by pressing Ctrl I that I explain it about million times on my videos. Very simple. Grab your brush. Take the follow and opacity must be under it and hardness must be about 50. Press enter and set the size as you want to add lines to your face. The sizes belong to your project. Like this, I am going to start from this place. Change the foreground color to white by pressing X key on your keyboard. One. You can hold shift key for having a straight line. It is too large. I will change this to 50. 1, 2, 3 and 4. But like this. I will start from this place. 1 and the second. From here and third line. But we need one more line in here for this place. And change, let me to make it like this and under up my eyes. Again, grab your brush and start adding lines. This place, one, two.
three, four, and the end of lines. As you see, I had just lines to my face. Here is the main point of this video. By pressing Ctrl H, you can hide rulers. I scale it to the frame size that you lost. Right click on the color fill, go to the blending option, and at the first thing you need to do is zero the fill opacity, like this. Go to the bevel and emboss. The first thing we need to do is change the style to emboss and the technique must be on smooth. We don't have any change for this and the depth must be 150 and change the direction to down and the size must be about 4 or 5, not too much. The shading is great. We don't want to have any change. This and because my lights came from the left side and in here as you see the highlights are in the right side. We don't want to change this. If your light must be from the right, you need to change the angle to different degrees. And now, a screen for hiding highlights and multiply for hiding shadows. Let's have change on this. Like this and we need to add some softening to this like this after doing all this press ok select the layer mask and your brush change the foreground color to black change the opacity to about 50 or 30 only to make it fit like this and this place also this place and end point before after as you watch my videos I explain for you that how you can add different color lens to your eyes and how you can add just lines like being on your photos if you want to make some battle photos action movies poster or you can make some game poster and if you want to add these kinds of lines to a space you can use the same trick for adding that and um, it was this video tutorial that i explained for you that how you can add these lines to your face if you learned anything from my video, make sure that comment it below for me, leave a like to my video, subscribe and press the bell icon to don't miss any single video from my channel. See you soon on other tutorials.